Hi, this is Paul from TradeTheFifth.com and this is my free daily stock signals video for Thursday the 21st of February. Uh, today I've gone back to basics, fifth wave trade, stock signals membership here. Every day our members get potential long and short fifth wave signals on the 60 minute, the daily and the weekly time frame. So today you see highlighted here on the calendar is 21st, we go back to the 20th, it's the same sort of thing. So we go to the 21st and we're looking at potential longs, quite bullish market at the moment. Click on the image and download the spreadsheet, which looks something like this today. So I've gone for a 60 minute time frame. Just want to show an example on an intraday uh, time frame which we can swing. Uh, so these are the, you know, we've got EA and, you know, quite a few others in there on today's scan results for those potential fifth wave moves on the 60 minute time frame long so i've chosen one of those i'm going to go ahead and set it up on the chart so i've chosen ngl um okay so uh, ngl ng partners recently had earnings good earnings that was the catalyst for this intraday bullish move up here okay now before that we were very flat Good earnings is the catalyst for the start of potential bullish momentum on this. So we've got that move up. Uh, so let's zoom in. This is our Elliott Wave Indicator Suite for the Think or Swim trading platform. Also available for Ninja Trader, TradeStation and Multichart. So let's go through this. So we've had that big move up, which is a wave three. It's a big impulse leg. So it's an Elliott Wave three. Our, our software's label the wave count and now we've had some profit taking wave four which is normal behavior in the markets and this is the normal behavior that we like to measure with our Elliott wave indicator suite now this pullback may not be over over it did close at the lows yesterday but it closed in a really strong support and resistance zone. I've drawn this in gray here. This is taken from the daily time frame. This $13 is really strong. So if this can hold now, we are looking for a long entry on the six minute time frame. So first of all, we look at this behavior of this wave four, and some of that behavior is used in that filtration system in the scan results. So first of all, we've had a pullback against the main trend on this 60 minute time frame. This is a wave four. It's found support initially, it may not be over yet, in our green zone. So these are our probability zone. The green zone is 85% probability. It's going to go on and make a new wave five high into that blue automated probability zone as part of our software there. So really, really simple. This could come back further and test into the amber zone, but we're in a really strong zone at the moment. So this is a 60 minute time frame. So when we, we're setting this up prior to the market's open, if we get a slightly new low and then starts to move higher, we just adjust the stop for the order and we can adjust the entry for our entry strategy as each hour goes by coming down lower uh, below uh, above this six four moving average high. I'll go through the entry strategy in a minute. The next thing on the wave four behavior is our 535 oscillator. So it's pulled back here between 90 and 140% during this wave four. This is great news. The next is our stochastic. Got a false breakout bar at the top there, denoting a really strong bullish trend. When the stochastic pulls back against there and crossing the oversold zone, it is likely to want to return to that main bullish trend. And it does 80% of the time. So we've got, we're building the picture. We've got those filters. So when people buy our Elite Wave Indicator Suite, they get that stock signals membership as well. So they uh, have that starting point. This is a great starting point for this stock. So it's not all over yet. This is our multiple time frame dot clouds, part of our a different indicator suite, but I use it here just to show you this pullback at the moment on this time frame. On all the other time frames, we're green and bullish. So on this 60 minute time frame, which is a row of dots, We've just pulled below the EMA cloud here, which denotes the red dot. So what we're looking for is that support. So we're, we're using the EMA uh, as a non-linear support and resistance zone, uh, an EMA cloud, and then also combining our pullback zones to try and find those probabilities, uh, high probability trades. So we've got uh, a good setup. It's ticked all of our boxes. Uh, remember, uh, we've got the automated target zone up there. So my entry strategy is simple here. My stop loss is just below $13 at this moment in time, $12.99. My entry 
is outside of the six full moving average high for the first hour uh, bar position of today's session at 1360. That gives us a risk to reward of 1 to 1.6 to the top end of our target zone. Now, as the session progresses, if we get slightly new lows, we adjust the stop. If that support then holds and starts to move higher, if we're three hours into this trade, we can have an entry at 1345. So as you can see, we use this six ball moving average high as our entry position. As you can see, once it gets above there, we're really, really good to go. See all of this price action here. Once it comes back through the red, through the six ball moving average low, we use that as a trading stop position. So very, very simple. At this moment, in the first hour of the trading session today, which is um, February the 21st, my first hour's entry is 13.60. Stop loss 12.99. Again, these can be adjusted. So second hour, my uh, entry position could be a little lower, 13.51, um, and then we can adjust the stop as necessary if needed. Target around about 1460 there. So very, very simple. One of our basic Elliott Wave fifth wave trades from tradethefifth.com. It is the highest uh, probability move in that Elliott Wave sequence, in that trend sequence. Now, this is an intraday trend. Uh, it might not last too long, but we've, we've had a good push since earnings. Uh, we've had some profit taking over the last couple of days. We're looking for that support to hold and trading that fifth wave move. So that's it for today. Have a great trading day and I will speak to you all tomorrow.